today's topic is to explore one of the peer SQL utility that is DBMS parallel execute. Okay, so let's dive in. So uh, the PL SQL parallel execute package allow a workload associated with the base table to be broken down into smaller chunks that can be run in parallel. So this is a, a professional definition. So in other layman terms, what you can say, uh, uh, if you are aware of that parallel concept in Oracle, then I think this definition makes sense to you. And if you are not aware of that parallel thing in layman terms, uh, we simply tell Oracle to execute our request or SQL or any of the uh, SQL query in multiple sessions parallelly so that the output will be pretty much fast, right? So it optimizes our solution. So this utility, you should always go for this package whenever you are, uh, whenever there are kind of straight parallel DML is not appropriate, right? You can't able to directly use parallel for some complex DML. So there, this utility can, we can pitch into it. Okay, so uh, using this utility package involves some uh, different steps. Like first we need to create a task. Okay, then after creating a task, we need to assign a workload to that task under that task that workload we need to divide into by chunks means in simple terms we create one task now using that task you simply need to tell oracle okay so you need to execute parallel process on our requested sql by three methods via row id the second one via column and the third one via directly using sql okay we have these three methods in oracle by uh, using which we can define our workload okay so after we creating tasks and assign a workload method then the final step is we need to execute the task okay simply run the task the check the status is completed and when you are done everything with everything simply drop that uh, task okay so this is a simple sweet brief description of what this utility is all about okay now let's do these steps practically in our db okay so I already have login uh, with my uh, DB, okay? So let's create something. So we uh, first we need to do, we need to create it. Okay, before uh, starting to work on this utility, obviously we need one table, right? We need a table and a handy data on that table. And we're gonna use that table to test or as in dummy, dummy data we need to fill into that table okay so let's first create a table and then dump some dummy data in that so i already created some uh, my SQLs with me so to save the time so let's create one table here so this is a table i created lg underscore table layman whatever the lg table so let's create this table this table got completed okay now let's insert some dummy data so i have going to insert 1.5 cr records in this table okay <clears throat> I use this append, so I think uh, most of you are aware of this hint. So it will make our SQL insert fast. It won't find any um, empty blocks while inserting the data. It's simply append in the last uh, available block in the Oracle DB. Okay. So and uh, one small tip: uh, whenever you use append, do need do uh, commit your uh, that insert before using this table. Okay. If you are not able to. If, if you won't commit after using a pen hint insert, then you won't able to uh, work on this table means any DML. Okay, it, it will give you an error. You can you can check. Okay, so uh, let's wait to insert. Okay, now 1.5 CR records got inserted in my table. I commit the command, then <clears throat> let's uh, execute the stats to make sure everything is okay for Oracle to creating explain friend explain plan for this new table okay so stats are up to date now let's see what we have in this table so okay so we do have some dummy data right oh it's run 1.5 here okay so we are good with the table we created the table we insert some dummy data in that table now let's dive into the first step so what was our first step so create a task so we need to create a task for this parallel execution so okay <clears throat> so this is the uh, this is the, this is how you need to use this create task procedure under this utility to create a task. You can also put a task command, but uh, I simply ignore that. So I simply putting a simple one parameter that task name. Okay, so this is the task name which you are going going to create in the Oracle DB. So simply execute this <clears throat> command. So it got completed. Now you need to verify, or you can verify by using uh, 
one table name user parallel execute uh, tasks yes so whenever you execute you able to see that the task is going getting created and this is undeclared because we haven't defined any workload type right method so and the status is created so we created this task so, so we are good with the first step right so and in case in case if you want to uh, drop any task so this is the command okay i'm not going to execute this but just uh, just for FIR reference for you all. So this is how we need to drop any task. Okay, so we created a created one task. We checked in this table. Yes, this task is this task is present, not yet defined. Its status is created. We are good with the first step. The other one is okay. So now we need to define the workload. Okay, and we do have three different methods. Okay, by row ID, by number column, and by SQL direct by direct SQL. Okay, okay. Let's go with the first method. <clears throat> This is uh, let's go with the number column one. So let me create a new sheet. So this is how you need to define uh, one of the types when you want uh, the workload to be treated as a number column. So this is the task name you created on a whatever schema name you're using, table name which you created on which column you want that um, workload to be affected on chunk size. So this is this is uh, this is the size of each chunk you're gonna save in um, in this task okay so simply execute it got created and you can verify uh using okay before verifying we do need to check the status okay so we do have with this table when you see now it is saying okay so this chunk type previously it was undefined now we do have mentioned one type that is number underscore range and status is chunked okay so because we already defined that each chunk should have ten thousand of um, column values we should have okay so we are good with the uh, um, uh, workload method and uh, in this table you can see the actual chunks divided so if you see we have we have uh, put the chunk size a thousand uh, ten thousand so you see each ten thousand set is assigned for this table so in this particular table we have 1.5 cr so that 1.5 cr record is divided into ten thousand each set okay so this is how you get this chunks number of chunks you got for this table okay so these are the two tables got it so this is how uh, and okay let's go with another one uh by uh, what was the other one is by row id or by sql let's see okay let's open a new sheet okay let me copy my existing code so this is the second method if you want to define the workload using direct sql this is how you're going to define that statement this is the direct sql which you're going to use okay utility create by sql First, it was by number column. Now it was by SQL. Again, the task name, the statement, and by row ID, it will be false because we're actually going to use the SQL. Okay. So, okay, whenever when I try to execute this thing, it will give me error. Why? Just because this task is already assigned to one method. Okay. So, first, we need to drop this method before assigning that another one. Okay. So, go back to our column method okay so this is this is a command how you're going to drop the chunks whatever they created in the 10,000 pair okay so let me drop the previous one it got completed okay now let's try to execute with the new method and it uh, by sql direct sql <clears throat> it is uh, it's bit taking time because the data is 1.5 cr so that's why so it got completed previously it was throwing an error just because already mapped with some another method we dropped that method and we now mapped with the new one okay now you see that it is updated to uh, number range and chunk okay again uh, and if you see the chunk size it will give you the chunk by which it, this method divided the whole data set okay it divided into three sets 10 20 or 30 got it so this is the second one and uh, let's go for the last one uh last one is by i test row id is the one which left right so this is how we need to uh define a method by using row id okay and as i already told you to map a new method we need to drop the previous one right so again we need to drop the whatever the method is associated with the task execute it removed this one was initially mapped with the task then I just simply drop this method because I'm gonna map a new method with respect to row ID. Okay, same same parameters, same attributes, task name, owner, table name, by row true. That means me I want chunk size that I have provided as five thousand. Let's divide, uh, make it as in ten thousand. 
True means uh, it will count 10,000 and a number of rows. If it is false, then it will go for the number of blocks. Okay. So I simply want to stick with number of rows. That, that's why by row equal to uh, true. Okay. So we already talked the previous one. Let's execute this one. Okay. It's got completed. Let's see the type. Okay, LG task. Now it is row ID, right? The last one, the row ID, and it is status is chunked, right? Uh, it already chunked. Okay, already chunked. Let me see. So, okay, so this is how it simply uh, divide the whole data set into different chunks. Okay, so this is how you 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 can uh, map these three different methods to the workload. Okay, to, uh, which is related to the task. Now, okay, now let's execute the let's see how we gonna execute and how it gonna affect our performance okay so okay let's try on this row id thing again okay so let me copy one function so this is how you this is how you can execute or you need to call or you need to run the task okay simply a one update statement on the same table i have put some complex function okay just because it, it simply takes some time to see the uh, difference okay so we put the update statement here and we simply execute the run task using this process this process the task name statement name which you want to execute level flag and parallel level is three so this 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 parameter is very important so here you are saying the rectal okay whenever I go, i'm going to execute this block this statement one going to execute and oracle will divide this uh, this workload into three different sessions okay three different sessions okay so uh, let me show you one thing so this is another another session i have i've logged in on okay so here i have only one single session okay so some select there is no other session is going on okay so as you know if i execute this statement directly okay directly what i'll see i'll see only one more session with update command and it keep going on for 1.5 cr data okay now see, I'm going to execute this one and then directly see how many sessions it got created. For me, it should be three different sessions parallelly for this single update command. Okay, this is what we uh, understood when we discussed about the definition of this DBMS parallel execute utility, right? We simply divide our, divide our workload into different sessions. So we have mentioned that, okay, divide this whole <laughs> request into three different sessions. So it will it will be quicker and it will take less time to execute. Okay, so this was our data. Okay, let's see. Okay, this was our data. Number of session ID is null for all. And in update, I'm simply updating the session ID and number column is plus one time. Okay, this is a simple one. Okay, now see, uh, again, I execute a single one. I execute this one and directly execute with another session. See, you got it? I got three different sessions under DBMS underscore scheduler, three tasks. Okay. That means this single update statement is divided into three different sessions. Got it? So this is how this utility perform DBMS parallel execute. Got it. it simply divides the single DML request into three different sessions so that each session will take care of their own chunk data and it will execute simple. And it, it won't lock your table or it, there isn't any deadlock via this because it separately work on their uh, fixed assigned area that chunks okay so this is how it, it gonna execute the uh, data okay so okay my sql got updated let me see if the table got updated or not yes it got updated okay so this is this is uh how we can use this uh dbms parallel execute okay so uh, that's that's all for this topic for now. I I simply encourage you to interact with the content, ask questions, or share your thought in the comment section below. Remember, we are building a sporty community of learner here, so let's engage and grow together. So, lastly, if you find value in this video and enjoy your educational content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.